Jeremy Chambers, Independence Acres Homestead here. Well, this is the third and final video in this part of our cuniculture series dealing with harvesting of rabbits in your cuniculture program. If you haven't seen the other two videos in this series, I recommend you go ahead and go back and watch them here or is it here? I don't know. I'll put a card up there to uh, the first in this series dealing with the dispatch. And then there's the second in this series dealing with the uh, evisceration and prepping for freezer camp. And uh, this final video in the series specifically deals with the insides of the rabbit and all of the parts of the carcass and ways that you can use it besides just the meat portion. Now uh, we did clean this up as much as possible and we're also going to show you some parts of the rabbit and uh, how they can be used on your homestead uh, or even as a, a way to make a little bit of extra income. Okay, so when it comes to rabbit anatomy, like I said, it's very similar to the anatomy of, of most of the, uh, the animals that you're going to come across to process on your homestead. All right, so we're going to start at the, uh, the top and work our way down. So the first things we've got up here are the ears. Now, why would I go ahead and uh, keep the ears separate? Uh, the ears can be good uh, for uh, dehydrating and using as dog treats. Uh, another thing that can be used uh, for dehydrating and dog treats is the heart and lungs, the liver, and the kidneys. Now, uh, these are each of the lungs. A nice healthy lung is going to be a nice bright pink. Now, when you process a rabbit, you might see some uh, red spots in the lung, and that's just where the rabbit has aspirated a little bit of blood during the dispatch process. Okay, um, liver. Now, you can see this is a very large liver uh, compared to uh, like a chicken liver. Uh, all right, over here we've got uh, the stomach, uh, the small intestine here, and then the large intestine leading out to uh, the anus, which still has uh, actually a little bit of poop nugget on it still. All right, kidneys. Uh, kidneys can also be dehydrated and used as dog treats. So can the liver, or uh, I hear that uh, rabbit liver makes an excellent liver pate. If you're gonna use a liver, you wanna remove this little green thing right here. It's not a worm, it's, uh, it's nothing like a parasite. It's just the gallbladder. All right, so to remove it, all we're gonna do is we're going to take our knife and we're just going to come right next and we're going to kind of score that connective tissue and we just want to kind of pinch it off and, and then we want to pinch it at the point where you connect to this little tube right here right and pinch pull and remove uh, bile is the basically stomach acid you don't want that getting into anything that you're going to consume or feed to your animals because it will begin to digest uh, the uh, the liver and you don't want that to happen. That's about the only thing that you want to make sure you don't puncture uh, whenever you're processing your rabbit uh, because that will taint the meat. Uh, everything else can be washed out. All right and uh, last but not least you've got uh, some other parts uh, right over here in this area. This last rabbit that we processed was a female and uh, so this is her reproductive organ organs. Um, this, uh, this is her ovaries and her uterus. Uh, her ovaries are on the end here and her uterus, uh, as you can see, it is a doubly horned uterus and uh, there are individual areas within the uterus here where she can carry multiple babies at once. Uh, and then you know, last but not least, we've got our bladder uh, and our feet and tails. Now the reason why I include them here in the anatomy is because they can be used uh, for a little extra income on your homestead if you're going to be processing rabbits on a regular basis. Uh, you can clean the rabbit's feet and tails, uh, and they can be soaked in a uh, saturated solution of borax. Then you place them in a jar of rubbing alcohol, and uh, then you allow them to dry, and uh, that will cure uh, all of that in there, remove all the moisture out of there so that it will not rot. And then we also have uh, the rabbit pelt here. It is wet because we washed it off. We didn't want to have a lot of blood at this point of the uh, presentation. Um, the front feet are still attached. Um, this was not a pelt that we would be saving for uh, 
tanning because um, these are not prime pelts. They are shedding at the moment. And this was also a very young rabbit, uh, only at about 12 weeks. So we didn't, um, the pelt uh, would, it, it would uh, lose a lot of its fur as it was uh, processed and tanned out. So there you have it, the anatomy of a rabbit. Uh, hope that you found this uh, educational and informative. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you learned a little bit about uh, the insides of the rabbit, a little bit of the biology that rabbits share with the rest of the animal world here. And also we hope that you enjoyed all three of these last videos in our Cuniculture series. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. This won't be the last Cuniculture video that we put out. We still have a lot to go over and to cover in the world of raising meat rabbits on your homestead. Thank you so much, and as always, God bless.